I'm not as tall as you. Yeah. Oh shit, alright. Okay, so we're starting. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Ow. Alright, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is Jack the Boss's YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I'm Dean Wall, special guest. Yes. And today we're going to be discussing Infinity War. Yes. Ow. Um. <laughs> so. Ow. Alright, we're good now, sorry. <laughs> okay. So, basically, um, what do you want to start with? So, like, the beginning of the movie, right? Yeah. I don't know. You just want to start with some theories? Yeah, sure, 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 sure. So, you just say a theory. Alright, so the main theory, I, just, I think I talked about this once before on the channel, but the one where Doctor Strange um, is giving up the um, time stone to Thanos is because, you know, because he said it was the only way, so that and the, when he went back and saw the possibilities and outcomes to, to beat Thanos, that he had to give up the time stone. So like, yeah, and and I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll happen, but yeah, it's interesting. And um, plus, I don't know how they'll actually get because it's obviously all those characters aren't dead. So. Yeah. So basically, I think my theory is that they're all just in the Soul Stone. And that Nebula is gonna come out, and she's gonna get the she's gonna get the Infinity Gauntlet. Gamora, because so... Gamora's in the... no, no Gamora's right. in the Time Stone or not Soul Stone. Sorry. She's in Soul Stone. No, but everybody else is in the Soul Stone though too. I think. Ooh. So I think that everybody sucked into the Soul Stone basically, and that Nebula is gonna release them somehow, because in the comics Nebula, Nebula gets the the Gauntlet, and she ends up. Freeing everybody and destroying Thanos, so that might happen. Yeah, I um, I don't know, cause I heard something that it, like Avengers Four takes place five years after Infinity War, so I don't know, like that that's a long time. So will they? Oh, oh, here's the other one: Captain Marvel and Adam Warlock. Hopefully, might might be in Avengers Four. Because at the end of Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy Volume 2, there was a post credit scene with Adam Warlock. And, yeah. Well, Adam Warlock, actually, in the comics, also gets the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He also gets the Infinity Gauntlet, so that's another outcome. Mm -hmm. But no, they uh, like he's going to have a single movie, maybe. Actually, no, I know Captain Marvel's going to have a single movie. Yeah, right, right before Avengers 4, so... Yeah, so... Basically... Yeah. yeah. And then, like... Yeah, they can't really kill off Tom Holland. They can't do that. Yeah, plus they already got like a, a sequel. So. Yeah, they already have a Spider-Man sequel. They they already came out with the release date for Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, volume three. Three, volume three. Yeah. So and they said, I don't know who the creator was. I don't know who the James Gunn. Was. James Gunn already said that he's like he's gonna focus more on Gamora mm -hmm. as a lead role, but I don't know if that's gonna happen since she's supposed oh, yeah. to be dead. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't like the idea that Gamora lives, to be honest. Just because it doesn't. Well, okay, if Gamora lives, then Loki, Hamdal, who dies at the beginning as long as well. Um, who else died before Gamora? Was that the only. Those are the only people that died before Gamora. So, like, Hulk almost died, but he didn't. Yeah. So, I think right now, you have almost. I think you have all the true Avengers from the first movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have Black Widow, Hulk, Thor, Iron, Iron Man, Man, Captain America. Captain America. Is that it? Hawkeye. Hawkeye, Hawkeye might be alive. I feel like anyone they didn't show, like Ant Man and Hawkeye, they're alive. Yeah, they didn't. Because like, Ant Man. Oh, in the set photos for Avengers Four, since they filmed them back to back, event uh, Ant Man was in it. Oh, and they like were time traveling because they like Captain America was in his old costume, from the photos I've seen. Oh, that's deep. So, but there is. Maybe they had to go back in time. Maybe Do Dr. Strange is dead. He's not. Well, Nobody's it, truly dead because they have a bunch of Avengers film set. Yeah. I think this Avengers 4 will probably be the last movie for all the original Avengers. And they'll probably really die. Maybe some live. Like, maybe Hulk will. What does this mean for the future of Marvel, though? Are they going to have to make more spin-offs? Of comics, or um, I don't think, I think it'll, they'll do a new new Avengers. Yeah, after after Avengers four, they can't really do much. 
Do you think they're going to kill off everybody in Avengers No, I think in Avengers 4 they'll kill off all the originals. So, like, yeah. Iron Man, Captain America, Black Widow. Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Well, maybe not Hulk, but we'll see. Thor. I, I, and thought, then, Thor, I thought Thor could die, but, like, I'm stupid. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I mean, they can find a way. And then in Avengers... And then the next Avengers movie... I don't know what that is. <laughs> Avengers 5, hopefully. It'll be called, like, New Avengers. And it'll have Black Panther, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man... Um, Ant-Man, like all the newer heroes that weren't in the original Avengers. Yeah. So that would make the most sense. Plus they have to do like another Ant-Man after Ant-Man and the Wasp. And then Doctor Strange 2. If you're going with... If Black you're, Panther 2. If you're going with that, I could see either... I could see Spider-Man taking the lead role in Avengers 5. If... if, if this yeah. Is, this, is a, this is one of the theories, alright? So, as Jack is saying, if they, if they take on a new Avengers in Avengers 5, which is going to be like 2023 probably... Like it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. far yeah. out there, so I can't say anything. Like that seems about right, cause 2019. I can't say anything yet, but like, but like I would see Spider-Man taking the lead role in, in that Avengers just because mm-hmm. that he's mentored by Tony Stark. So I could see him like yeah. Black Panther, maybe Adam Warlock and Captain Marvel. Yeah, Captain Marvel would be there, and then like Doctor Strange. Doctor Sexy Strange Jr. too. Anyone who wasn't in the first Avengers. Movie, and so. what's the other? Who was the or other the person? Phase. Ant-Man. Yeah, yeah Ant-Man. Plus, they'll probably do another trilogy movie, so, like, after Ant-Man and the Wasp, Ant-Man 3. Jack was telling me earlier about, like, Shuri. She might take it on the Black Panther. Yeah, there was that theory that in Avengers 4. What about Bucky? Want to talk about Bucky? What's what's his future, you think? Falcon and Bucky both die. Yeah, Yeah. Falcon and Bucky die. So, if if Falcon... Okay, either Falcon or Bucky will probably take on the role of Captain America in once. Listen. (gasps) Yeah, that's what they'll do. Because in Avengers (laughs) Avengers 5... Like, once they get all the characters back, like Falcon and Bucky, either one of them, maybe one of them dies, but either Falcon or Bucky takes on Captain America's role. I would see Bucky because... Yeah. I mean, in the comics, it's Falcon. Yeah, he might do I think the, uh... Bucky's actually been it before, but... It could be either one, it doesn't really matter. Maybe Falcon could just be, like, himself. Yeah. Like, get a new suit upgrade, and then... Sure. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, sure, I think it'll just kind of be, like, another side character, like Wong from Doctor Strange. <laughs> But, He's a beast, though. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so any other any other comments? Like, what else happened in the movie? Like, the Guardians of the Galaxy was kind of... That had me shook that everybody died except for Rockets. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like I said, I feel like they'll just bring them all back because they have to make Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yeah, or they could just get a new Guardians of the Galaxy, which would be stupid because yeah. you can't really break up. Like, that's a, they're all dynamic together, honestly. Yeah. Like, they just, they just have, like... A comedic sense to them and everything, mm-hmm. where it's like you know you have Groot and then you have Drax and uh, what's her name, um, Mantis. Mantis. And then you have you have uh, Quill and uh, Gamora, but we don't know about Gamora. And then you have Rocket and Groot. So it's just, they're all just kind of like built dynamically together. So you can't really uh-huh. make a new team. But I'm I'm really excited to see how Howard the Duck. <laughs> Yeah, Howard the Duck. He was in it. He was in he the was in one and two. So, yeah. Who's that? Is that Paul? Is that him again? Oh, there. Anyway. Oh, that's all just old friends. I think we'll end the video. Maybe. No, so I just want to I just want to end it really quick with saying that, like, what I, what I see happening. Like, what do you see happening in the next Infinity War movie? The Avengers 3 or whatever. Basically, 4, I don't know. If what I saw about it being five years later, I think Miles Morales takes up Spider-Man's role, Shuri's Black Panther, and and so on and so forth. And their original Avengers are together. And then I think Captain Marvel will probably somehow appear, or Adam Warlock, or maybe just one of them. Well, no, Captain, Mar- Captain Marvel's obviously got to be in it since they teased her in the post credit scene. So Captain Marvel shows up. Somehow they find a way. Since, I'm assuming Captain Marvel... Oh, shit. <laughs> get here, get here. I'm assuming Captain Marvel's, like, really knowledgeable or something, because I don't know too much about her from the comics. So, um, like, I don't really know her powers and whatnot, but, like, I'm assuming she'll probably be knowledgeable and then somehow find out about how to stop Thanos. Since they said Thanos will return. So, so basically, and they'll go back to the original Avengers movie, get Hawkeye and um, Ant Man to go back with them, and then 
something they have to do in the a New York battle from the original Avengers. They'll have to do something, maybe to Loki or something, and then that way it'll play a role into um, Avengers. No, play a role to stop Thanos. Yeah. So we have Tony Stark, right? Or Iron Man? Is he just? He's the only one left on that planet, right? On Titan. Nebula is there too. Oh, that my theory was that he builds because remember in the first Iron Man movie he makes like a, yeah. a suit out of scraps from the cave. Yeah. He might use parts from Nebula since she's like a pretty much a robot. Or there was like some stuff on Titan, and I'm sure Tony Stark's like, and he still has some leftover parts of his suit. So like, yeah, Tony Stark's like, smart enough to get off. I he think. can build the, he can rebuild the suit. Really yeah. Fast. Though how or either Thor um, gets um, Tony because I know that's another theory. I don't know how exactly, but yeah. My theory, really quick, is that. Nebula and Stark are gonna meet up with everybody. They're gonna have a big battle, New York style, yeah, just yeah, like yeah. the first movie. And I think Nebula, they might introduce Captain Marvel or mm-hmm. Adam. Oh, Captain Adam Marvel, Marvel could uh, get them off Titan. Yeah, I like the idea of Tony Stark making a suit, but then again, like, how would he like know how to get back to Earth? Yeah, exactly. So that's the issue. Yeah, so I think that ends the video with all of our. We will we will see in the future what what the predictions are, and I will yeah. come back to Vegas and make a yeah. video. <laughs> or I go to Arizona. I haven't been to Arizona in like a long time. Make another video. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's it, Jack right. Attackers. Go subscribe to Dean Wool. Have a nice yeah, day. Dean Wool. Yeah. All right.